thing is, I want you to be my best man. What? After everything you've done for me, Nick, I, I can't believe that I didn't ask you before. I, I'm flattered. I really am. You don't have to do this. You don't owe me anything. Oh, I do. I wouldn't feel right. Hey, what could be more right than the bloke that saved my life standing by my side when Leanne and I pledge our eternal love to each other? What about Simon? I thought he was going to be your best man. Oh, yeah, he still is. But it's a big job for a little kid, isn't it? It really would mean an awful lot to me, Nick, if you could do this. Oh, I suppose. Good man. And we're going to have a drink to celebrate. Well, you are. I'm on the orange juice. And I might not be if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Don't be silly. Good. Rovers at seven, then. Sure. Sorry, love. There's something I had to do. What? I've got a surprise for you. Come and sit down. You're gonna love this. I know how to make the blessing perfect. It's already perfect. But there was something missing. I suddenly realised what that was. <laughs> what are you on about? Nick. him to be best man. And then... Well, I don't know what's brought this on. I was thinking last night how lucky I am. How I've got everything I could have dreamed of. And then suddenly I realised that's all thanks to Nick. And he's not even invited. Yeah, because I don't want him there. Why not? Because it's not fair on Simon. But Simon loves Nick. These last few months, you know, together I... Thought we'd all gotten really close. Oh, come on, he's hardly a close friend. Is this about the drink thing again? No, it's not. Then what? It's nothing. Just ignore me, I'm being silly, but... It's just he's part of me past. Not me future. But... If you want it there, then... Then that's fine. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. Makes me happy. Okay. I've told him to meet us in the Rovers at seven. Oh, Peter, I've got to get to Janice's. Oh, come on. I feel like celebrating. You don't have to stay too late. All right, then. Good. I'll call me dad. Ask if he can keep Si a bit longer, eh? Okay. Listen. I do want to make you happy, you know. I know, love. Carla. It's me. Peter, I've been... <clears throat> Ian insists, uh, I'll have an orange juice, please, and a dry hot one for my lovely wife here. Sure. How's everything going? Oh, very well, yeah. Yeah, very well. And, uh, whatever my mate is having. Nick's gonna be my best man. Amazing. No, I mean, it really is. I'll be back in a tick. Okay. What the hell are you playing at? I couldn't say no. This is a nightmare. Did you see the way Tracy looked at us? I mean, uh, what if she tells him? She would have said something by now. <sighs> this is going to change everything, you coming to the blessing. It's like a red rag to a bull. You planned this. I do not want you in my life. Do you get it? Yeah, I don't want to be here. Right? Is there a queue? No. See you back in there. Oh, that's better. Because three's a crowd, isn't it? Tracy, champagne. Three glasses, please. 
three glasses? Yeah. I've got another surprise for you. Oh, you're full of them tonight, aren't you? Ah, right on cue. Here she is. I thought we were meeting for a drink. I didn't know her party. Why didn't you tell me she was coming? Would you have come if I had? Would you? Peter, what's going on? Carla, come sit down. <clears throat> right then. Now all the gang's here. I think it's time we had a little chat. behind us, okay? And be friends. Yeah, right. Lee, I know it's hard to forgive Carla for blurring the bounds of friendship, shall we say. I was drunk at the time. But I was faithful. I turned her down. And what better way of showing our commitment by having her at the blessing? Did you put him up to this? Oh, it's the first I've heard of it, I swear. You have to remember, Carla was there when I needed her. And like Nick, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be having the blessing. So, it would mean the world to me if you all buried the hatchet and we're all there tomorrow as friends. Sorry I upset you, Carla. Ditto. And Nick, I'm sorry that I forgot what a, a true friend you really are. Yeah, don't mention it. Good. So, a toast to friendship. Friendship. Hey. Well, I better go. I've got to get my suit pressed. Looking forward to it, mate. Thanks again. Hey, look already. I'll be getting back myself, so um, I'll see you. Yeah, at the blessing. Yeah, can't wait. You're angry. I'm not. Yeah, I can tell. No, I'm not. At least. Sweet. Yeah. Young love, eh? Listen, I'm sorry. I was being selfish. You can invite the Pope if you want. I don't care. As long as you and Simon are there. Thanks. I want our blessing to be the happiest day of your life. Because it will be for me. Right, I'll uh, get myself off to Janice's. Get me beauty sleep. You're supposed to say you don't need it. Sorry, love. going to tell me what's going on? You'll find out soon enough. something tonight. Oh, yeah. What's that? I love you. I love you more than anything, you know. Peter, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I love you, too. Well, night then, husband. Night.
That's the night, Julian Clary, Mark Watson and the McFly. Don't miss it. Yeah, Jason's here next and later celebrating 30 years of an audience with Kylie Minogue, Michael Bublé, Ronnie Corbett and Al Murray at 10.35.